Now, today is all about chocolate, and uh, as if these uh, brownies didn't have enough chocolate in them already, John and I are chopping chocolate. Now, this is another way to get small bits. Right. By using the uh, little... It's a great way of doing it, but like I said before, if you've got kids in the kitchen, you can just use the, um, you know, the chocolate chunks yes. or the, the little chips pieces, and stuff. Pieces, the chocolate pieces. But, but serrated knives work so well. <laughs> Not so good for the yeah. knife, but they oh, work well. <laughs> just that little clicking on right. the stove, John. Do you hear that? So, oh, yeah. What is that? It's just a burner. All right. That's it. It's making off. Little, we, making we don't, we don't little, need heat. little evil noises. Everything is burning. Yes. So, okay. basically, uh, we're using a semi-sweet here for the topping because we have the bittersweet and the cocoa powder. Which so, what's are... the difference between semi-sweet, bittersweet? Tell everybody because well, it's always a question. It's, um, it's the percentage of sugar and cocoa mass, what we call cocoa mass. So, um, right here is, uh, this is how we make the quick ganache. So, we can do this while we talk. Okay. It's a half a cup of heavy cream. Should they all go in there? Yes, or? Oh, exactly. Okay. okay um, so, the chocolate goes into oh, the... Oh, jeez. Oh, you can do it this way. Oh. Let's do it this way. Keep going. The cream This is goes another in. way of doing it. Not scripted. Oh. But anyway. <laughs> what, the heat cream first? Yeah, you heat the cream and pour it over and you let it sit and then you whisk it in together. But this oh, is darn. this is even it's less dirty stuff at the end of the day. I mean already. And it works. already. <laughs> so anyway, um, And honey. Fifty yes. A little oh. invert sugar now how keeps come it. Honey? Cause it's um, um it gives it a nice sheen. Uh, you could use a little bit of glucose. You can use a little bit of um, corn syrup. Oh. Just gives it a very nice shine. Okay. But getting back to your 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 question about percentages, um, the higher the percentage of cocoa mass, the less sugar. Okay. So a 64% um, obviously has um, a bitter taste, um, a, a, a pleasant taste, but more unsweetened than the, the semi-sweet. Okay. So 56. Every manufacturer has different uh, percentages. So, you know, not every manufacturer makes the same um, chocolates. Right. The, the, um, uh, other manufacturers have like 56, 58, 60. I think it's a little redundant, but yeah. um, Ghirardelli okay. uh, actually makes a semi-sweet and then a bittersweet. Yeah. So now this just melts until it comes all together, mm, nice beautiful. and smooth. And then, and then, oh, so you have it there too. Yeah, this I is have a, one and you have This one. is the other way, right. Okay. So you can see how easily it comes together. Yeah. So mine's together already. Okay, so it's mine. And you, yeah. And it really is, this is great for ice cream at this stage. This is great for a bunch of things. So we can add the vanilla here, or you can add it after you strain it. Mm, but the important thing is, is that you do want to strain it because there are sometimes some oh, lumps left. Oh, okay. So we just strain it right through a, a fine sieve. Even when we make this in 50, you know, we make 50 pounds of this at a time, we a still strain it. Yeah. <gasps> Fantastic. You have to. You really do. So now, storing chocolate is another thing that many people ask about. And uh, how, at the bakery, how do you store chocolate? You have, <laughs> we use it so fast, now, we don't have to be but concerned. But at home, <laughs> I, I store mine in a, like around 65 degrees. 65 degrees out of the sun, obviously. And they, I, I, I put mine in um, plastic tubs. Yep, Tupperwares, oh, big yep. Tupperwares or big, you know, uh, storage. So that just, that did well. Yep. Okay. So now that gets spatulated over this. Okay. So this you're is not like a truffle adding top. any oil to this or? No, we're going to add a drop of oil to the white chocolate. Oh, okay. And again, we're using the, um, the so bar chocolate. So this all over? Yep. Okay. You can use your spatula and just smooth it out. You can do that because you're, <laughs> you're so good at that. Give, right? There's one right on the side here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so this just goes all the way into the corners. And then when this sets up, you'll be able to cut this with a nice warm knife and you get scrape. these beautiful squares. Scrape. Right? No, oh, scrape. Yeah. I just want you to scrape this off. I don't like to waste a drop. <laughs> that this we is know. Chocolate, chocolate, you know. And it's very good chocolate. So refrigerate, after you do this, refrigerate for like a half an hour? Until it sets up. Yeah. Could be about two hours. Okay. So now here, I just put a little bit of vegetable oil into the white chocolate. Keep it glistening? It keeps it from clouding. You oh, know how they yes. say that chocolate, you know, oh, blooms? Oh, yeah, or, gets, gets that bloom but, on right. it. Right. So this just helps prevent it. And this way you don't have to temper it, which is another step. Okay. And then we just do what we call a little Jason Pollock or, you know. Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> Jason's fine. It doesn't, it doesn't look like J Jackson at all. Jason, yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm a Jackson. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and there we go. So that's it. A little John Pollock. This, this sets up. Um, so pretty. And then you get nine gorgeous uh, pieces just like this. Three by three. Three by three. Yummy. So and it's gluten-free. We've incorporated about four or five different kinds of chocolate. Uh, you got the, the semi-sweet chips in there, the bittersweet, that is so the cocoa heavy powder. And so dense. That is really something.
So, this may be the most decadent brownie, and uh, try it. I think you'll all love it. Now, it doesn't have to be this big. Three by three, how about 12 by 12? Uh, you can cut that into a triangle right now, and that you, would be you perfect. Could. Yeah, that's... Orange and quarters. Right. I've been nibbling. Mm. I made it for Peter's birthday on uh, <laughs> over the weekend, mm. and we're still we're still munching on it. So really good. So tell uh, Peter happy birthday. Thank you. I will. Um, these are really good. Thanks Ghirardelli for all this great stuff. Yeah. And thank you, and thank you guys. No problem. Coming up an easy and irresistible holiday recipe that makes a perfect homemade gift.